Welcome back, folks, and oh, what a bot I got today. What a bot I got today. Tick-tock, tick-tock, it is time for the very first Got Bot Pop Quiz. And yes, I can't believe I just said that without stumbling over the words. If you have a bot, and that bot has a transformation that's about as complex and intricate as a masterpiece, but he's a deluxe size, who do you have? This guy. This is Transformers Generations War for Cybertron Deluxe Class Optimus Prime. Okay, so we're back and we're going to take a look at this beautiful beast of a Transformer. I am your host, Dennis Moulton, a.k.a. Gotbot, and as always, check out uh, Machinery and Man, the Everything Factor, and me across social media, please. And we're going to take a look at this guy right now. Um, what can I say about him? Paint apps. This guy's beautiful. Uh, I love the red used on him. I love the blue used on him. Uh, he, looks, he looks great. He looks like an optimist. Um, <clears throat> where you have pink I guess we'll call it here and on the knees um, and even his Autobot symbols are kind of kind of pinkish I think that they could have done with being yellow uh, would have been a little more um, you know animation accurate to the, the you know cartoon but this is supposed to be game accurate and it's pretty good it's not bad uh, you know but you know it's it's Optimus Prime you're not gonna mistake it I love the bot mode uh, I think that it has a very you know imposing strong look I think it looks like Optimus. So in terms of paint apps, uh, I'm going to give the guy about an 8. I'm going to give the guy about an 8. He's not perfect, but he's he's pretty great. And even in his alt mode, though the alt mode is weird, um, the coloration is fine in it. The coloration is great in it. Um, now, in terms of this being a model, hey, it's, it's great for the game, but it's not great for animation. If that's what you're going for, you know, that, that G1 look. Um, Post ability, play ability. He rolls great in vehicle mode. Uh, if you, you you know if you can call it a vehicle. Uh, in terms of bot mode, uh, you know the head is on a ball joint. This one it tends to be loose. Uh, this isn't mine. This uh, belongs to Starscream girlfriend Scraplets. Um, but the the head is on a ball joint. Looks up, looks down. It's a little bit loose by now. The arms can go all the way around 360. And they can go, you know, out a nice bit there, and they can bend to about 90 degrees, uh, there's a bicep swivel, there's a wrist swivel, um, but it's not perfect. Uh, you're not going to get all the way around with it just because of some kibble on the sides. There is no waist swivel. That makes sense. When you see transformation, that makes sense. The legs can go out about that far. Uh, they can't go forward spectacularly because of this waist piece, but that waist piece can bend up for you to get extra mobility um, if you want, so that helps. Uh, they can go back a bit but get caught up on some kibble right here. They bend to about 90 degrees and there's a swivel. It's really up at the ball, uh, mushroom peg. It's really up at the mushroom peg up here but it, it still counts as a thigh swivel. And the feet, a uh, little bit of a rocker back and forth. And the toes, because of transformation, can actually articulate up, which is nice. So this guy pretty much has all the articulation you would want. Generally, his uh, joints are pretty tight. Like I said, except for that, that ball joint on the head, that one tends to be loose. I don't know if it's just with the boys playing with them or if he came like it. I have no idea. Uh, so, so far, you know, the paint, we're looking at about an 8. Pose ability, play ability, ah, about a 9. Uh, you know, he's really good in, in both forms. But then we come to the beast of a transformation. Now, a few years ago, uh, when I met Starscream Girlfriend, I had not seen this mold. I had not interacted with this mold. I uh, didn't really know anything about it. And her, her kids had gotten it, uh, I guess, for Christmas or something at one point. And um, we were actually traveling um, for about an hour. And this was in the car, and I decided that I was going to fiddle with it and transform it on my own without instructions. For the record, she, um, she had gotten this. Oops, they should be up. His knee pads should be up. Missed transformation there. Knee pads should be up. Knee pads. Knee pads should be up. Uh, anyway, she had gotten this, and, 
and didn't have any instructions with it either, so she had to figure it out. This is a beast to just figure out. Let's try and get into the transformation. A lot of times when you see this guy, it goes from vehicle to robot because a lot of times you get him in vehicle, but that is easy to do. You'll figure that out. Going from robot back to alt mode, that's more challenging. So let's try and begin and uh, see if we can make this as easy as we can and as quick as we can. Those knee caps that I just brought up, well, you know what? You can bring them down again. I didn't even remember that they were supposed to go up. So guess what? They've been down. Uh, and the truth is, I, I think they look pretty fine down, to be honest with you. I kind of dig them that way. The feet, you just fold up like this. Oh, you slide them out, sorry. And you fold them up like this. And you collapse. Well, actually, I guess I'll do it this way. You peg the legs together. And then you bend at the... Uh, you peg the legs together, and they don't really like to stay together. Then you flip this piece out, flip this piece out, these two blue pieces here on the side of the legs, and you flip the tires down, and you flip the tires down, <clears throat> and you bend them at the knees, and you basically retract the legs. You're basically pushing the knees back into the legs. Right, you can see the, the added space right here. Um, <clears throat> now that's that's what you have so far, and the bottom of him, of him is beginning to come together. That's the easy part. That is the easy part. Come to his waist and open out the two side skirts so that now you have this whole waist piece out, and you can unpeg. There's a a, a space in here that goes over a little peg right here. You can unpeg all of that and open it up. Um, next, and this part is probably key, this whole backpack section, lift that off for now. Lift it off for now, leave it out straight for now, just so it's not in the way of doing things. Then things become a bit messy. You need to unaccordion his body, basically. And that's what you have done right there. You have the body unaccordioned. Um, you need to <clears throat> put the head back and this whole chest piece turns around. So far, so good. So far, so good. But you look at that and it doesn't really look like that's going to come together to be much of anything. That's, that's because it's, it's, it's a challenging transformation. I, I think on the package it was a four. Uh, at the time when they had a range of, of like a four to five. You pick up his arms just to get those out of the way for now as well. Um, that would be my advice anyway. And now we need to deal with what's inside here. And inside here you have, uh, see if I can show it closely. You have this whole gray section that comes down and up right here and that can swivel. And up above it you see another little gray section coming across and down and that joins to the backpack. The backpack and the bottom of the robot swivel independent from each other. So, bring the backpack all the way around. You might have to, you know, fiddle the chest piece here a little bit, but bring that backpack piece all the way around for now. <clears throat> um, eventually, this is going to go, you know, down over it. Um, once you have that all the way around, you can push the legs down in that manner and you can begin to see how this is going to loosely come together. But these tires here now are in the way. So what do we do with them? What do we do with the arms? Because we, we obviously still need to deal with all that. Okay, so we want to try and get these arms up here. But now you're going to say, wait, wait, how difficult is that to do? It's not too difficult to do. I would suggest, because we've just had the arms flailing freely, uh, what you want to do is flip the fist in and flip the fist in. So that now you can start to kind of bring things together a bit. Face the arms so that 
they're angled like this, with the arm going down the length, the length of the body, the shoulder pad kind of coming up along by the chest. And do that on both sides. Now, you can kind of see how things are going to start to come together a little bit. I need to, to straighten up that chest piece there. Now you can kind of see how things are going to start to come together a little bit. The shoulders, they fold up right here on the sides. So you fold it up. And you fold it up. And now you should be able to bring these tires forward. They might not go all the way forward yet because you don't have things positioned perfectly right, but you should be able to get them in at least relative position. Oh, I got them all the way forward. Look at that. How do you bring this front piece together with this back piece now? Well, you need to get these arms out of the way, but they lead you nicely. You turn the arms so that this gray piece faces inside, and then you're going to see a little line section right here. This is a panel piece, and this panel piece is actually really nice for helping you uh, line everything up. You bring the arm down by the side and you fold it in and this panel piece should match up with this panel piece just like so. Ah, I said it again, I've been trying to stop that. Anyway, same on the other side, you bring that down and it lines up. So far, so good. These little pieces here, these little pieces right here, you basically flip them out and flip them out for now. A lot of people would tell you to bring them down, but you might as well leave them for now because we need to deal with these blue panels first. This guy has smokestacks, but you can see that my smokestacks are missing. Um, they were ones there, not anymore. I guess they, they came off over, over the years. And you bring the smokestacks up on both sides. Your goal now is to close this panel and there's a little tab right here and it should go into a little notch under the red right there, if you can at all see it. See if I can show it this way. Little red notch under right there. Um, the legs may come apart as you're doing it. Mine certainly did. And I find, and again, you have to remember that I'm doing this without the assistance of instructions. Never did have them. I find that it's really difficult to get this panel to line up with this panel to line up with this panel. That's what you're supposed to do. Um, but it's, it's, it's tricky. Uh, it's tricky because certain things want to kind of come apart as you're doing it. One is in, and over on this side. Now I will do the same, bring that forward, and that one is in, and that's popping out. And now you can bring these red pieces down, and there's a gray hinge up here. You're bringing the whole gray hinge down, uh, and they uh, they basically line up as well right here. Then we have this piece left. During transformation it probably moved out right here. So you want to take it from the gray in right here where my finger is and push it back a little bit. That should eliminate the space that you had here. Then you peg the whole front of the vehicle together. In the waist section that has been brought up, there's a little tab on this shoulder piece, a little tab on this shoulder piece, and a little tab on the backpack. They all tab in pretty securely, actually. And then the backpack tabs in in that manner. And my legs came out, but that's okay because that's only minor. That one, um, that. Now it's only a matter of kind of pushing everything together so that it all panels up and fits in quite nicely. You'll also notice I didn't show you a weapon with this because the, uh, the boys, I don't believe, have the proper weapon, um, which is a, uh, it's a bit unfortunate, but, you know, what do you do? What do you do? 
And in the end, though I don't have all the panels perfectly, this is basically Optimus in his vehicle mode. Like I said, it's a vehicle. It's an alt mode. Uh, he does roll like a champion. If you wanted to take greater care than I did, you can line these panels up you know, on the sides a bit better. These ones right here are probably going to be your most finicky ones. But this is him in the end. It is a beast to get him here. His transformation for a kid, they're never going to figure it out without an awful lot of practice and guidance, I think. Um, I, you know, well, I can't say that. They'll figure it out. It's just, it's going to be really challenging for him. For a collector, it's kind of fun. I think that there's a lot of things in here that are brilliant, that are ingenious. Um, so for a collector, I, I would give the transformation about an eight just because it's really interesting and intricate. For a kid to make that quick back and forth for, uh, you know, for, for quick, fun play, uh, I think you're only looking at about a four because you're not going to just change this guy quick. Uh, underneath, this is basically how he looks. Um, you know, that's basically the setup that you're looking for. Uh, now, I, I said to go back to robot mode is really quick. Um, normally, I, again, I don't do it, although I've done it in a couple of videos now. I'm just going to really quickly take him back to bot mode, just so you can see. I'm not focusing on the transformation. My overall score for this guy, I want it to be high. I do. I want it to be high, but I can't because the transformation is just too much of a beast. Um, it really is too much of, of, you know, an absolute bear. And that's where he kind of, I guess, falls. Anyway, as you can see, uh, you know, taking this guy out of his alt mode is not nearly as difficult because once you bring these shoulders out the whole thing just kind of comes together sort of nicely uh, you stretch all that out you turn so that you know his shoulders go back up you do need to remember to swivel the backpack around so it actually becomes a backpack again and of course you turn that around and you pop up the head And you pop out the hands. So, like, if you're going from, you know, from alt mode to, to robot, I, I, I think that it's pretty intuitive. It's a great transformation that way. It's just the other one, not so much. Not so much. And, hey, you know, if you were looking for him to go in this direction, then consider this a got bop bonus for you. Um, you know, once you get him this far, you basically just accordion the whole body together, and you bring that, that belly piece down so that it fits in, and you fold these in. And we have Optimus once again in bop mode. Um, like I said, you know, going from alt mode to bop mode, easy, easy. Anybody can do it. Going from robot mode to uh, alt mode, challenging. Uh, I, like I said, I don't have his official gun. The boys, though, have been using this one. I don't know who it came with, but I feel like it matches for Optimus fantastic. And if it's his official gun, then all the better because it looks, it looks really good in his hand. Anyway, overall score for this guy. Overall score for this guy, like I said, I want it to be high. I'd like to give him about an 8.5 or a 9. But because the transformation is such a, a, a beast and takes... Uh, a real learning curve. I'm going to drop him to about a, to about a six and a half. Six and a half or a seven. Uh, you know what you're getting into. He's a wonderful figure. I really enjoy him. But you need to know what you're getting into. Don't get him thinking that it's going to be a quick conversion and that you'll be able to, you know, really just fiddle with him at your desk and uh, really enjoy it, you know, going back and forth quickly. Not going to happen, my friends. Not going to happen. Anyway, that, uh, that's it for this one. I hope it was kind of quick for a challenging Transformer. And um, I guess that's all to say. Thanks for dropping by. I appreciate you coming for a visit. And I will see you the next time that we meet right here inside the videos.